Hey Tower, Bay 2276, can you confirm a craft northwest about one mile from my position? BA 2276, nothing on radar or in that vicinity. What do you see? Tower, Baker 2276, seeing a large yellow disc shaped object about a mile wide hovering about 2,000 feet. Still nothing on our radar. Keep your elevation and maintain your elevation. 2276. Keep us informed if anything changes. As we stand vigilant, relying on science, and always ready to adapt to new changes, it leads us to ponder bigger questions. Questions that reach beyond our immediate surroundings and into the vast expanse of the unknown. Have you ever wondered what lies beyond our world? What secrets the universe holds for us to discover? Today we delve into one such enigma. Our tale begins on the 23rd of April 2007. Imagine, if you will, Ray Boyer, a seasoned pilot navigating his aircraft towards Alderney in the English Channel. Suddenly Boyer's routine flight takes an extraordinary turn. He reports sighting not one, but two bright stationary objects that defy explanation. Objects so unusual, so out of place, they seem to belong to another world. But Boyer wasn't alone in his mysterious encounter. Two passengers on board, drawn to the spectacle, confirm seeing unusual colored lights. Lights that should not, could not be there. Yet against all reason they were. This sighting would soon spark intrigue, debate, and a myriad of theories, leaving us to question, what exactly did they witness that day? As the news of this strange encounter began to spread, reactions were mixed. Pilot Ray Boyer didn't just keep his sighting to himself. He reported the incident to the British Civil Aviation Authority, hoping for some answers, or at least a thorough investigation. But the Ministry of Defense initially decided to take a step back. Their reason? The incident occurred in French airspace, not within their jurisdiction. One can't help but wonder if this was a way to sidestep the unexplainable. Boyer was not deterred. He was forthcoming with his descriptions of the unidentified objects. He compared them in size to a Boeing 737, or even as large as a mile wide. He spoke of their solid, bright yellow-gold appearance with dips in the sky. They were concrete, they were tangible, they were uncanny. The media was quick to pick up on the story. Reports and debates flooded news outlets, turning the 2007 Alderney UFO sighting into a sensation. It was not just another sighting to be dismissed or forgotten. It was regarded as one of the most impressive and perplexing testimonies in the MOD archives. The public was captivated, experts were puzzled, and skeptics were left scratching their heads. Yet, amidst the chaos and curiosity, the question remained, what were these mysterious objects? As with all mysteries, theories began to emerge, attempting to explain the inexplicable. The Alderney UFO sighting of 2007 was no different. Theories abounded, each one more intriguing than the last, in a bid to explain the unexplainable lights that adorned the English Channel skies. Firstly, there was the earthquake lights theory. These are luminous aerial phenomena that reportedly appear in the skies around areas of tectonic stress, seismic activity, or volcanic eruptions. Unusual, yes, but could they explain what Ray Boyer and his passengers witnessed that day? Some experts think so. Secondly, the sun dogs theory was proposed. Sun dogs, also known as phantom suns, are an atmospheric optical phenomenon that consists of a pair of bright spots on either side of the sun. Often they can appear as two subtly colored patches of light to the left and right of the sun, distant on the horizon. Could this have been what Boya saw? It's a possibility, according to some. However, not all were convinced by these theories. Skeptics argued that these explanations did not account for Boya's descriptions of the object's size and solidity. The objects were described as bright yellow gold with black bands, as large as a Boeing 737 or even a mile wide. Neither earthquake lights nor sun dogs could reasonably account for such precise descriptions. The debate raged on between those who believed that the sighting was an unexplained phenomenon and those who insisted there was a rational explanation. Both sides presented compelling arguments, adding to the mystery and allure of the Alderney UFO sighting. Whether you believe in the existence of extraterrestrial life or not, one thing is clear. The Alderney UFO sighting of 2007 remains one of the most baffling and captivating cases in history. Despite the passage of time, the mystery persists. The Alderney UFO sighting has remained a tantalizing puzzle, an unsolved enigma that continues to ignite the imaginations of the curious and the adventurous. 
This perplexing event still draws the interest of mystery aficionados and UFO enthusiasts around the globe. It's enigma enduring, it's truth elusive. Theories abound, yet definitive answers remain just out of reach, making this event a compelling testament to the unexplained mysteries of our universe. In the end, the Alderney UFO sighting serves as a stark reminder of the mysteries that our universe holds, leaving us to ponder what lies beyond our world. <laughs>